Hello, welcome to Not Dead Yet's music chat. Uh, I'm Dan. Um, we're just going to talk about what we've been listening to this week. So, uh, Lee, what have you been listening to? Uh, this has been a really good week for new music for me. I've been, um, I mean, I've been to, I've been to three gigs, mm. um, which have been really good. Uh, music wise, though, um, there is, I, I got an email on a, on a mailing list, Bandcamp email, um, mm. uh, and it came, it came out nowhere yesterday of a band that I used to like, yeah. uh, a London based band called Dog Feet. Dog Feet. Dog Feet. Yeah, D O G F E E T, all one word. Yeah. Um, who I, I I booked them a few a few years ago to play mm. for me, and, and uh, they've got kind of like there's two bands of lots of members of two different bands and they kind of move members quite a lot but they've just released an album on Bandcamp yesterday called Debris Detritus Debris? yeah alright uh, as you know uh, Debris uh, R-I-S as in like a oh Debris 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 Detritus yeah, yeah. Uh, slash Detritus and blew me away really? yeah what oh, sort, sort of music is it? it's really intense harrowing industrial Experimental rock, um, brooding. Uh, I mean, I've only listened to it once, but I can't wait to get home and listen to it again. I really, really? Yeah, I really want to. Like, it's long. It's, it's, it's probably about. It's long albums, like it's maybe 16 songs or something mm. like that. Or maybe not. It, you mm. know, I, I'd only listened to it through it once. And it's really dark. And like, I mean, when they. It's kind of like. It's intense. And like, kind of a lot of like. Like when they played for me, um, which was quite a while ago, they had a percussion, in, like a drummer, mm. and then they had someone percussion, but bashing like tins and stuff, mm. like really like industrial sort of like bleak, uh, like factory, do you know, you know, desolate factory, just like noise. the end of Robocop. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, but it's just, it's just and like it's just just really like just really bleak and and, and, and like just so intense. Yeah. Um, and I, I haven't been able to justify listening to it properly because I haven't had the chance. I mean, yeah. skimmed through it in the background, um, and I, I, you know, without even paying attention to it, I was like, "Fuck, yeah. this is great." Um, so that uh, really, really band camp dog feet, you know, the breed you try to check it out. It, yeah, I want to listen to it. I'll go ahead and specify well, who would like it. Pete, fans of who? Um, if you like stuff like Throbbing Gristle, um, yeah, you'd probably like it. Yeah. Um, uh, Thorin Gissel, uh, Iron Shazenda uh, New Bouton, Iron Shazenda New Bouton. Okay. Those sort of, that sort of, like, do you know, are you familiar with either of these? Really, really. Heard like, of Thorin Gristle, but only because you've talked about them before. Um, yeah, Iron Shazenda New Bouton. Yeah. Uh, again, they were the jerk, like, so the, uh, Thorin Gristle, Gristle it was the British sort of like purveyors of industrial rock, if you like, and uh, Iron Shazenda were um, uh, the Germans. Yeah. Um, and uh, harking back to another music chat, um, I think one of their members ended up being in It Came the Bad Seas. Oh, uh, okay, right. It came the okay, yeah, yeah. was involved at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, uh, and uh, some Garage Rock records. Um, there's a band I really like uh, called The Franklies. I think, you know, four girl, kind mm, of like, mm, kind mm, of freak beat, Garage Rock. Um, they've just released an EP called uh, Bad News, mm-hmm. um, which is really good. Three tracks. Um, I mean, you know, one of the tracks, Puppet, I've kind of been aware of for, for a while, and mm. I'm really, that's my favourite of the three, but three really great, great kind of garage rock, you know, really rocking, you know, good guitar solos, but it's mm. like that garage rock 60s tinge to it. Mm. Um, and, I mean, as a live band, they're great, really, really energetic, kind of like yeah, uh, great melodies, about, yeah. and, uh, you know, I, I, you know, really good fun. And there's a label called, so separately to that, there's a label, uh, a London-based label, I think it's London-based, called Fluffer Records. Yeah. And they, right, yeah, mm. <laughs> they uh, again they do garage rock stuff. Yeah. Um, one they uh, earlier this year, um, <coughs> recently they released uh, an EP of a band called Love Buzzard, who played for me again. You know, that's why I'm familiar with them. Two piece garage rock, just really kind of good time rock, but kind of that kind of like uh, kind of like kind of dirty rock, mm. um, but like short two now three minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, they released an EP on Fluffer, uh, and then they've got a new band called Sewer Rats. Okay. Um, who, again, similar sort of stuff. Really good. I mean, if you like kind of like the raw power esque Stooges, Iggy and the Stooges stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of that sort of yeah. thing. You know, then it's it's that sort of territory. Um, I've not seen them live. Uh, I don't know what they're like, but um, Fluffer also do gigs and they do like all days. And the lineups always great. They always look fantastic. So I think uh, you know, I think it's a really strong, really strong garage rock scene in London mm. at the moment. And and uh, oh, I mean, Sewer Rats. I don't actually think from London. Right. Um, but. I mean, Fluffer Records, new band, really good, new, exciting garage rock bands, and uh, I'm I'm really interested to see what they do next. Mm. Um, I'm really ex- excited about that. But yeah, Dog Feet, I I, I want to go back and listen to that like t- as soon as I get home. I you? probably won't listen to that. No, uh, 
I have been listening to, um, I think he's from Washington, a producer, as in, in the States, not here, um, called Bizkit, oh, right. uh, B-Z-K-T. Uh, he's on Bandcamp. He's put out a few, he's got quite a lot on there, actually. He's quite busy, it seems. Um, it's kind of that sort of uh, Dilla-esque uh, hip hop beats, um, but he, I think he does a little bit of rapping as well. I just really, there's um, uh, an album in inverted commas of his called uh, the Red Tape, which is really really good. Really like that. What sort of stuff? That is. that's just like a just hip hop beats okay. and you know some vocals and stuff like that. It's really really good. Um, and also been listening to a favorite of mine from a while ago, but I still keep coming back to it, which is. Um, an album called Nightlight by The Cancel and that's okay. kind of instrumental jazzy hip hop from the Ukraine okay. um, and really really good um, my friend who's also really into hip hop and I both both of us love this it's really good um, unfortunately I think they split up and then one of them's carried on with the name The Cancel um, right, okay. so they put, he's put out a couple of things now and I haven't given them as much focus as the other ones I need to go and listen to those to see if he's maintaining the quality right. since the personnel change, I don't know yet. But uh, Nightlight by the Cancel is amazing. Really, really like that. That's on Bandcamp as well. Um, so if you're into hip hop and you like that kind of jazzy hip hop, then I would check that out. Um, and some other classics. And so I've been listening to Live Proof, which is an album by Group Home. Group Home yeah. were the first time I heard them was on a Gangstar album. They're on, I think they're on Daily Operation, which I think you have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And this is also produced by DJ Premier, but their own album. And it's quite old now, I would thought. I would imagine it's probably early 2000s, maybe even late 90s. Um, but it's just really strong, really good hip-hop album. And I've had it for ages and never really listened to it until about a year ago. And now I pretty much listen to it, I'd say at least once or twice a month. Okay. Uh, just really, really enjoy it. And the other album I've been listening to this week... Listened to it a couple of times. Never really liked it when it came out. And over the years, it's kind of grown on me. That's 2000 by Grand Pooba. Grand Pooba is uh, one of the MCs from Brand Nubian, which is an amazing hip-hop group. Um, well, that's just their sort of like time period? Are they uh, recent? Brand, Nub Brand Nubian's first album would have been, I'd say, early 90s. Okay. Um, they were... Conscious hip hop, if you like. What is in social conscience? Yeah, it's in yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So stuff. certain, certainly not gangster rap. Um, right, okay. The second album after Grand Pooba left seemed to change direction a little bit more. They became a bit more uh, street. Was it like, like following the cliche? Then is that? I don't that? know if that's strictly fair, but it certainly became more aggressive. Right. Okay. The second album, um, which I don't like as much as the first album. The first album I much prefer, but. It's still a really good album, the second album. So yeah, that's what I've been, I've been listening to this week. Not some new stuff and some old stuff. Um, yeah, good. I've got there's, there's there's kind of like one other thing I came across this week, mm. uh, which kind of. Did you listen to the Blur album? I did. I did. I listened to it once. I want to go back. I, I liked it. it what did you, okay. I liked it. What do you think? I haven't listened to it yet. I, I, meant, I meant to try and fit it in, and I just forgot. I want to listen to that properly. Um, because I end up getting really, being really busy, <clears throat> and I'll listen to it. On yeah, exactly. I've got a CD on a list, and I've got vinyl on a list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe we should talk about that next week. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's try it. and listen to that this week, and then we can have a chat about it then. Um, there's one band I came across. It's actually it was on a. Uh, 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 I, think, I don't know anything about them. Yeah. Um, they're called Trapelium, I think. Trapelium. Yeah, T R E P I L U M. Yeah. I think that's how it's spelled. Okay. Uh, I know nothing about them. I came across them on a terrorize. Terrorize is like an extreme metal magazine. Right. Right. Which yeah okay there was C D so I was listening to it and, and, and like this this song came on there's the first track on the CD called Moonshine Limbo mm -hmm. and so it's just as you expect it's kind of really heavy extreme metal and I end up going to this weird jazzy stuff oh, cool. like like limbo like like this kind of really like trad jazz or yeah right. like it's a trad jazzy sort oh, okay. of stuff and I was just like I went to kind of skip back and listen to it again and. Uh, I mean, it, I think it transferred there now my last year of, of similar sort of material. Oh, okay. And it was really completely oh, that's quite unexpected. interesting. I'd probably quite... I, I wouldn't mind out. checking that out. Check it actually, out. It yeah. was really surprising. I yeah. was just like... And I wonder whether that was a sort of a novelty track, if you like, for their... Yeah, thing. like a... But I listened to the an album... anomaly. Yeah, yeah. it listened to the album. It seemed reasonably consistent. And oh, okay. That was a big surprise. So I know nothing about them. Um, nothing about well, them. Well, find out about them. Yeah. Um, report back. Please. I will. That's a good, yeah. Yeah.
Okay, that's yeah. it for us, I think. Yeah, yeah? it is. Yeah. Okay, you can uh, follow us on at hello not dead yet on Twitter mm-hmm. and email us on hello not dead yet at gmail.com and our um, Facebook, <laughs> not shemail.com. Not shemail.com. Uh, Facebook that's, is another, that's hello, another show. Yeah, hello not dead yet. <laughs> we've got Instagram it's on there yeah there's an Instagram somewhere <laughs> yeah poking about um, so that's it yeah I uh, hope you have a good week uh, let us know if you're listening to anything good and we'll see you next week yeah bye see you later